My name is Jackie Cabasso. I'm the executive director of Western States Legal Foundation, which is a nuclear disarmament org nuclear disarmament advocacy group based in Oakland, California, founded in 1982, the same year as Mayors for Peace. And we are a member of the International Association of Lawyers Against Nuclear Arms. I'm also a founding mother of Abolition 2000 in 1995. And since 2007, have been um, working for the Hiroshima Peace Culture Foundation as an executive advisor assigned to uh, be North American coordinator of Mayors for Peace. Mayors for Peace is a cooperating network with Abolition 2000. So Mayors for Peace was established in June of 1982 at the end of the UN Second Special Session on Disarmament held at UN headquarters in New York. Uh, the mayor of Hiroshima at that time, Takeshi Araki, proposed a new program to promote the solidarity of cities toward the total abolition of nuclear weapons. And this then became Mayors for Peace. Uh, Mayors for Peace grew throughout the 1980s, which was the peak, I think, of the global anti-nuclear movement. Uh, and reached about five or 600 members and then kind of leveled off after the end of the Cold War when um, general concern about nuclear dangers kind of fell off the public's radar screen. Um, so it was kind of flat through the 90s. But in, 20, in uh, 2003, the mayor of Hiroshima Taratoshi Akiba, a very dynamic and charismatic guy, launched the Mayor's for Peace 2020 vision campaign for the total abolition of nuclear weapons by the year 2020. Now, at that time, um, I think we were more hopeful than we are now about the prospects for total abolition of nuclear weapons by 2020. It did seem remotely possible. And a huge amount of recruitment went on around the world and Mayor's for Peace has grown since that time to include now 7,744 cities in 163 countries around the world. So that is a phenomenal growth, more than tenfold, and Mayor's for Peace now represents more than a billion people or a seventh of the world's population. Let me just mention some of the membership numbers which may be interesting. Um, of course, in Japan, almost every city now is a member. There are 1,732 Japanese member cities. The second biggest membership country may surprise you. It's Iran with 1,016 members, followed by Germany at 637, Italy at 512, Spain 389, Belgium 375, the U.S. 215 members. France, 152, Nicaragua, 155. But I would also mention other countries of note, Israel, which has 56 member cities, roughly half of them with Palestinian mayors. And on the African continent in 47 countries, there are 394 member cities. Of course, it's not just about the numbers, but I'll come back to that. Um, Mayor Sapisa has always focused on abolition of nuclear weapons, but at the 2017 General Conference added a second pillar, which is realization of safe and resilient cities, and that is to acknowledge and incorporate other issues of immediate concern to mayors in different parts of the world, which could include uh, terrorism, hunger, refugees, small arms, etc. And the concept is that both nuclear abolition and the realization of safe and resilient cities are necessary um, planks which will lead to lasting world peace. Now, let me talk a little bit about the structure of Mayors for Peace to kind of demystify it. The president of Mayors for Peace is the mayor of Hiroshima. That is part of his or her job description. So the, the, <laughs> the mayor of Hiroshima is always the president. The first vice president is Nagasaki. And there are a total of 27 executive cities, that's vice presidents and lead cities. Um, in recent years, because of its phenomenal growth, uh, Mayor Sir Peace has been restructuring 
to designate lead cities to try to establish chapters in their cities or their regions. There are 24 of those lead cities now. Um, countries and regions are autonomous. The mayor's peace secretariat in Hiroshima does not tell mayors what to do. So there are a lot of, there's a lot of variety in the kind of activities going on in different countries um, based on their political systems, their histories, their cultures, and so on. Um, there are regional chapters now that are active in uh, the UK, the Nuclear Free Local Authorities, in Germany, in France, in Catalonia, and in Africa. And we're trying to establish a US chapter. I, since um, the majority of people on the call are from the US, I'll talk a little bit about the US. Our lead city is Des Moines, Iowa, Mayor Frank County. And it's worth noting that he's in a very influential position right now because in the US presidential primaries, they all start in Iowa and virtually every candidate meets with the mayor of Des Moines. Um, Mayor Sir Peace is housed within the Hiroshima Peace Culture Foundation, which is a division of the city of Hiroshima. Um, there is a secretary general, there is a big staff in Hiroshima, and there are three executive advisors, of which I am one. Um, so going forward, we have two goals, and I have to emphasize we rely heavily on the work of local NGOs. Um, obviously, with three executive advisors around the world, that's <laughs> the world is a big place. Um, qualitatively, we want to reach 10,000 member cities by August of 2020, which will be the 75th anniversary of the U.S. atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Qualitatively, we want to deepen, deepen the involvement of around the world, and there are many ways to work and it differs really from country to country. I'll just give a few examples before I wrap up. Um, in January of this year, uh, coming out of a Parliamentarians for Nuclear Nonproliferation and Disarmament Conference in Basel, which involved European mayors, the Basel Appeal for Disarmament and Sustainable Security, calling on the US and Russia not to abrogate the INF Treaty and to uh, work rather on multilateral nuclear disarmament initiatives was uh, launched and sent to Presidents Trump and Putin and the parliaments of the US and Russia. And among other signers, Mayor County, who I mentioned of Des Moines, took it an, upon himself to get US mayors to sign on, and 18 US mayors signed on to that initiative. Um, in Germany on July 6th of every year, which is the anniversary of the International Court of Justice's opinion on the illegality of nuclear weapons under international law, um, mayor, uh, member cities fly mayors for peace flags and people, peace activists ride bicycles from city to city to meet with the mayors and do public events. Um, the US Conference of Mayors has passed annual resolutions for the last 13 years unanimously very strong, comprehensive nuclear disarmament uh, resolutions, which are now being uh, adopted by big US cities, including Los Angeles and recently Washington, DC. On February 14th, Mexico City placed a plaque at the site of the signing of the Treaty of Tlatelolco. That was the 52nd anniversary. That's the first nuclear weapon free zone in a populated region. Mayors sent interns to work at the Hiroshima Peace Culture Foundation, and many activities are planned at the upcoming NPT PrepCom, where there will be a Mayors for Peace delegation, including the Mayors of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. There will be a Mayors for Peace Youth Forum. The Mayors of Hiroshima and Nagasaki will make statements in the civil society portion. There will be a meeting of participating executive cities and lobbying of governments. So finally, let me just say that I have prepared a Mayor's for Peace Action Toolkit, which has a lot of ideas about what you can do. I would appeal to everyone to please check and see if your mayor is a member of Mayor's for Peace and enroll them. Take a look at this document, which will be posted on the Abolition 2000 website. And let me just highlight one thing. There is a new Mayor's for Peace promotional video, about 10 minutes. It's really inspiring. Uh, it features nine of our most active mayors from around the world. And I also invite you to look at that and share it widely. Thanks.